Hello, my name is Corel Hicks, also known as LeeMan69, and today I am going to show you all how to uh, make a simple, I guess, sort of program that calculates stuff uh, in Raptor. It's not necessarily how to actually make a program, just a flowchart. Um, I'm doing this for a friend of mine at school, um, whom I won't name for uh, protection purposes, I guess. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and read you the problem from the homework uh, that he needed help on. It says, design a program that will ask the user to enter the amount of a purchase. The program should then compare the state and county sales tax. Assume the state sales tax is 4% and the county sales tax is 2%. The program should display the amount of the purchase, the state sales tax, the county sales tax, the, the total sales tax, and the total of the sale. Uh, hint, use the value 0 0.02 to represent 2% and 0 0.04 to represent 4%. Uh, I don't, in my thing, uh, I don't actually display uh, everything just for time sakes on my end. Although I do have the same homework, but for a different days, so I wasn't really, I wasn't trying to get it perfect. I just needed to show how to get it done. So we're going to go ahead and open up the program. And uh, let's see. I am going to full screen this for you guys and how close can we get 200% let's do for video purposes let's do 300% just to try to get as close in there as I possibly can alright so uh, alright cool I can scroll down so first I put a uh, an output here uh, you know you can't really make a proper program without a welcome message so I got hello we are going to compute your state and county sales tax for your purchase today um, and all you do is you drag it, uh, an output underneath the start and you know you type what you want to type and make sure it's within uh, two quotation marks and then after that I went and uh, called the first, well not called, but made uh, two variables um, which is this assignment symbol up here um, dragged two of them down or you can just drag one and then pull on another uh, assignment box and it'll make another one and we'll double click that and I set the variable to state sales tax camel case and we set that variable to 4% which is equal to 0 0.04 and then we did the same thing for county sales tax we pulled down an assignment set our variable made our variable county sales tax camel case set it to 0 0.02 which is equal to 2% and then I didn't at the time of making this I didn't read the directions correctly and so I thought that it said to display the uh, the sales tax and the state sales tax and the county sales tax which thinking about it now doesn't really make any sense but yeah so I had I did that using the output I had just using the output I uh, First, I put double quotes, and then inside that, I wrote state sales tax. The two dots are colon. Yeah, I think that's just a colon. Uh, and you need a space right after whatever you're typing in there. You need a space at the end before the quotation mark. There needs to be a space in there because I have my variable out here which is state sales tax which will display 0 0.04 and so it's gonna say state sales tax colon space 0 0.04 and this plus sign in Raptor is how you uh, 
add in your uh, variable to a message uh, that you're trying to output to somebody and we did the same exact thing for county sales tax uh, just showing that and then now we have an input we need to get the cost of the item or the purchase and so I put in double quotations what is the cost of your item question mark and we set this variable to purchase now you can name it cost or whatever you want to I named it purchase so we got that and then after that we needed to make more variables and so we set our next variable to county total and we set that to purchase times the county sales tax so after after we ask the user what their uh, cost of the item is that will give us our that will uh, set our variable purchase and it will give it a value and so now we take that value or the variable purchase and times that by county sales tax and we do the same thing with state total we take the purchase and times it by the state sales tax and so now with that we need to make another variable which I named total sale it probably would have been better to name it total sales tax um, because all it's doing is it's adding the can I make this bigger and it won't make a difference it's adding the uh, the county total and the state total uh, the, the county total sales tax and the state total sales tax together to provide the total sales tax and so now uh, our last variable I named final sale which uh, is the uh, total cost of the item um, so we take the total sales tax and add that to the purchase so that would be the county sales tax the state sales tax combined together plus the purchase so if you understand that and then lastly we output the uh, a message telling the user uh, their final sale and so in double quotes the total of your sale is space and then the quote and then the plus sign and another uh, well not you can see that there's a space right after the plus sign and before the plus sign and then our variable final sale and so now I will uh, let me unzoom that out for you 125 we'll turn the play speed all the way down now we're going to run this for you so you can see it work and this is the master console over here you can look at it and you'll see some numbers and stuff pop up in there so let's go ahead and run it and I put the speed super slow so you can see it going so it pops up with our message displays our state sales tax 4% county sales tax sales tax uh, 2% and then ask for us to input the cost of my item so we're gonna say $69.99 and hit OK now it's doing the math calculating calculating and there we go it's finished the total of your sale is seventy four dollars and eighteen cents which would round it up be seven seventy four dollars nineteen cents if it was if it was something actually being bought so uh, I hope that this was informative enough for you my friend and other people that may be uh, watching this sort of I guess flowchart tutorial sort of thing uh, yep guess I'll see you guys next time goodbye